Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your morning coffee. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is going to be a general energy reading for today, Monday, November 19th. Happy Monday, everybody. Yeah, I, yeah Monday. <laughs> uh, mm. Wow, and my ears start ringing already. Okay, <laughs> we're getting going. We're getting going strong, guys. I hope everyone had a great weekend. <clears throat> um, I, yeah, so this is going to be a general energy reading for today. This is not love specific. This is not career specific. This is not sign specific. This is just whatever spirit wants to talk about, whatever spirit wants to bring to our attention today. This doesn't have to be energy that necessarily resonates right now. Um, it may, may well be, but it also may not be. This We may be talking about um, situations that have happened in the past already for you, things that have, that have come to pass. Um, we may be talking about things that may go down I don't know, sometime during the week, later in the month, whatever. Um, yeah, so uh, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? So with that said, I think it's time to just get to it. Mm. Just a heads up for some of you who may be interested, I am going to try to do happy hour tonight. If you're not familiar with what that is, happy hour is a situation that I've come up with where I jump on here onto YouTube live. And I think I'm going to try and do it around 6 p.m. if my schedule allows me to. I do have a bunch of stuff that I need to try and get done today, um, but I think I can swing it. I'm going to... Um, so anyway, uh, I come on live and, you know, we have a cocktail, we have some drinks, you know, a glass of wine, a beer, a cider, whatever, smoke them if you got them, and I will be available to do single question readings. Now, my prices have gone up a little bit. A single question reading is now $30, but during happy hour, I'm going to keep it at 20 yes? So, woo, happy hour, yeah? That's just going to be a time for us to get together, to chat, you know, vibe together, enjoy, you know, you know, talk about the Monday blues and do some, you know, do some readings. If you guys are interested in like having a single question answered, I will be available for that. Yeah. So I'm going to try and do that tonight. Um, look out for a post confirming whether or not that's happening. I will keep you guys updated throughout the day, but yeah, we're going to try and do that tonight. It's going to be fun. So you should check it out. You should join us, get your questions ready. I will be available. Okay. So with that said, let's get into the reading. Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, November 19th, 2018. Thank you so much Spirit. All right, um, there is a yellow energy right now. That's a continuation um, from the full moon reading that I did yesterday. Uh, the full moon is on Thursday, the 22nd, which just so happens to be Thanksgiving, guys. I found that to be quite ironic, as if Thanksgiving isn't a bit of a stressful day for many of us already. Now we have the energies of the full moon to compete with. <laughs> but... What I'm getting here is that there's and there are energies of illumination happening, okay? And that's a lot of what the, the message about this full moon was that came through yesterday in the, the full moon reading that I posted. If you haven't had a chance to check that out, I would highly recommend you do so. Um, it was a really good, re really great reading. A lot of great stuff came out. Um, but there's a lot of illumination, illuminatory energy for us. And um, that illumination is going towards figuring out what it is that is truly burdening you, burdening you, what it is that are, you know, your deepest burdens in some cases. And um, with the energies, of, with the full moon being a time of release, this is really a great time to spend some time with yourself, as much time with yourself as you can, to really dig deep and figure out what these things are that you need to release in order for you to really move forward in your life, yes? Okay. 
All right, so one more shuffle, and then one day, November 19th, 2018. If any of you are wondering, I don't know why I'm picking up on this, but if any of you are wondering, I'm using this deck is the Moonchild Tarot. It's a beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous deck. The Moonchild Tarot, that's the book. And then I'm going to be clarifying with the Crystal Visions Tarot, yeah? Okay. So, let's get into this today. Mmm, coffee. <laughs> Alright. Monday, November 19th. Ooh, we've got one already. We've got, we've got, okay. Hey, look at that. The Four of Wands. Aw, oh, isn't that sweet? Monday, November 19th. Okay. Here we go. Underneath the deck, we have the Five of Swords. All right. So, uh, immediately, I'm picking up energies of the full moon. Um, yeah, definitely picking up energies from the full moon. But we also have the Four of Swords here. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Queen of Ooh, we have more than that. We have the Queen of Swords, and we have the Page of Cups so far, okay? We do have two hidden aspects that I'm going to get to in a second. I'm going to put these over here for now, because we'll talk about those in a second. But what we have here, guys, is a chance to really, really solidify our foundation, okay? The Four of Swords is talking about uh, retrograde energy. It's talking about the full moon energy. Mercury is in retrograde, moving through Sagittarius right now. So that is giving us time. I mean, this is, there's more purging happening, but this is great because this is a chance to purge the last of, well, according to Betsy, of Fearless Intuition, um, her weekend energy update for this past weekend was really good. If you haven't checked that out also, I highly recommend that you do so. Um, but what she was saying is that, you know, Mercury going retrograde through Sagittarius is a period for us to do some final purging, a lot, uh, final purging of what, uh, of our, of 2018, right? So that's what's really happening here. You have the Four of Swords, which is a time of rest and respite, okay? Um, you know, this is a time for meditation, for healing, okay? With the Four of Wands and the Queen of Swords here, you have an opportunity to really solidify your own personal foundation, okay? Um, this also, some of you could be rethinking living arrangements, like as, like as in your home, you may be wanting to travel. And um, that, I'm definitely getting that energy here with the Knight of Wands and the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is very much the dreamer. The Knight of Wands is, to me, can be a spiritual warrior. Um, someone that's just very passionate about something. This is Sagittarian energy with the Knight of Wands. So again, um, we have more representation of the full moon, I'm, I'm sorry, of Mercury going retrograde through Sagittarius, okay? The Five of Swords that's underneath the deck here, this is talking about um, situations that you find yourself in or you have found yourself in where, you know, it's just been self-defeating, it's been a shit starter, it's been... Um, lose-lose situations. And with the Four of Swords and the Four... With the Four of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Queen of Swords, this is a moment for you to really break free from that, to really use this retrograde energy, use this full moon here, because you do have a depiction of the full moon on this Four of Swords, so which is needing... Which is talking about time of rest, reflection. Um, uh, I'm sorry, Spirit was saying something to me, and it, it kind of threw me off, but uh, but I'll get there in a second. I don't want to forget. But um, you have a moment here to really cut out things that no longer serve you, okay? And which, which is going to free you, which is going to free you to make quick movement towards your dreams with the Page of Cups and the Knight of Wands here. Now, 
Spirit is saying to me reconciliation. And as I was meditating this morning before I started the video, reconciliation came through. Um, I even heard marriage proposals. Like I heard someone say, will you marry me? So there could be, uh, after a period of rest, after a period of like really grounding yourself and cutting out the shit, there could be some sort of reconciliations coming through for some of you. Okay, let's get to see the, the hidden aspects here of, yeah, the magician and the six of swords. The six of swords is in reverse. It's interesting. The, the six of swords being in reverse actually is not really a bad thing. Now look at that, we have four, five, six of swords. So what the Six of Swords is saying is there is an energy of movement that's here, but it's not happening quite yet. And to me, that's because of um, there's manifestation happening. Okay, we're in a period of still a little bit of rest, uh, a, a relaxation, yes, but healing. So basically, like for some of you, like I said, that you might be trying to identify a new living situation, come up with a new living situation. Um, and so there's no movement here with the Six of Swords yet because that's still in manifestation mode. Okay, you're still in the process of manifesting. So what's happening here is that um, you're really taking your time to understand some things, or at least you need to be taking some time to understand some things, to understand what is your truly true foundation as an individual, and how can you better serve that foundation? What can you move towards that can help you serve that foundation? What can you dream about? What are you dreaming about? What are you trying to manifest with the Page of Cups and the Magician here that is going to help you be a better version of yourself than you were before? These retrograde energies and the full moon energies, even though they may be tough, I just get a, a real a feeling that they're actually really, really beneficial. If you were to use them properly, if you were to use them correctly, what does that mean? That means taking advantage of the purging, of the, the illumination, the things that, the revelations that you may have, taking advantage of the time, of this time to really clear out more of the muck so that you can really get down to what it is you truly want and desire here, okay? So that you can, you know, not be blocked by about it anymore <laughs> okay all right so let's get into some clarifiers now <clears throat> we're going to start at the top from the four of swords four of wands and the queen of swords some of you may be taking a break from some sort of relationship some sort of long-standing situation some of you um, for some, you know, you have a foundation here, but I'm getting a sense that it's somewhat of a loveless foundation. It's only, it's only a solid foundation because it's been in place for some time. And so with you taking a break from it in a way, you take almost like taking some sort of mental retreat with the Four of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Queen of Swords, you're actually really trying to decipher whether this foundation is right for you anymore. Again, this could be a living situation, a home. Maybe some of you could be trying to move out of a home, maybe like your family's home. Some of you may have done so already. Like I know of someone that has done so already. But you are, and, and this is really, these are really, up. this energy is a product of this full moon here, especially with the full moon that's on the Four of Swords. What can you let go of? What do you need to let go of with the Queen of Swords? Let's clarify that section here. Four of Swords, Four of Wands, Queen of Swords. I feel like for some of you, for some of you, this is like, a last it's almost like you're 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 analyzing the last chords the last pieces of what's keeping this situation together 
Please clarify. Four of Swords, Four of Wands, Queen of Swords. Please clarify, Spirit. Thank you so much. We have the Eight of. Nope, nope, yeah. You see? I was. You see? Alright. Underneath the deck is. Look at that! The Queen of Swords again. There you go. Queen of Swords. Now, this is exactly what I was saying. You have the Two of Wands with the Empress. Oh, that is excellent. So, what decision, which direction are you going to go in? I mean, you have an abundance. You have an absolute abundance. Wow. Wow. You have an absolute abundance of options. If not options, what I really heard was fertility. Okay. So, the, 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 the situation... <clears throat> Now, all right, so first of all, for some of you, the situation was that um, you have a really seriously fertile environment to choose from now. You have, I feel like for some of you, you are feeling way more abundant than you ever have in the past. You could have really been doing a lot of work to release yourself from a lot of burdens. Some of you may have already done some major purging from you know, Mercury going retrograde already. I know the, those energies hit me early. And also the full moon energies may have hit you early. It may have been a matter of it hit you, the both of them hit you at the same time and just like propelled you through this sort of respite, this time of understanding and cutting things out in greater service of your own foundation. Okay, we're really talking personal foundation in this situation, all right? But then for others of you, here we go, Five of Swords again, okay? That's the last card that flew out that flew out face down. So that's somewhat of a hidden element. Um, it's also a past element. Why? Because the Five of Swords can talk about retrograde energies. And we have the Empress here. The Empress is Venus. Venus just went direct, okay, on the 16th. So for some of you, if we're talking, well, actually, it doesn't have to be just a love relationship. It could really be anything. But for some of you, um, the Venus retrograde period is really what kick-started this analysis of, um, you know, your foundation and what it is you are giving to, what it is you are striving for. And now this is really helping you make a better decision moving forward. You have the Queen of Swords energy twice. I mean, if that's not cutting shit out, I don't know what is. <laughs> you know? Okay. So now, now that you have begun to or have already identified some things that you want to release out of your life, or at least some things that you need to release out of your life, you have the opportunity to become inspired again. I really feel like many of you really are inspired again with the Knight of Wands and the Page of Cups. There could be some really quick energies, uh, quick moving energies in a new direction uh, uh, of, of something you may have been dreaming of for a long time. The Page of Cups is also reconciliation. So there is that card that talks about the reconciliation that I'm hearing about. There could be some energies of someone coming, rushing in really quickly or just really passionately and wanting to reconcile, wanting to apologize. The Page of Cups is about apologies. Um, but also, the Page of Cups is the dreamer, okay? <clears throat> so uh, for some of you, um, if we're not talking reconciliation, you could be in the period of both. But other than reconciliation, this is an energy of being clear or having clear, clearer energy in order to move forward in life. And now you have the opportunity to dream up what it is you want to move towards. But let's get some clarification here. Please clarify. Woo! Knight of Wands and Page of Cups. Okay, we've got something already. Here we go. Knight of Cups. Page. Aha! Ten of Swords. And the Queen of Cups. Okay. And, oh, guys. We've got the counterparts. Underneath the deck is the Emperor. All right. And the Empress came out over here, clarifying the top, all right? So someone is really taking power, taking control of their life, taking their power back. Uh, the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Cups is 
you know, someone just having learned a lot um, and being, you know, maybe having a lot to say about it with the Queen of Cups, but she doesn't necessarily, she isn't necessarily going to say it right away, okay? Many people say the King of Cups is the one that um, holds his emotions in, and he can be. But I see the Queen of Cups as the, the one, the individual that does more of that. The Queen of Cups is a little less likely to tell, to, to, to pour her heart out than the King of Cups is. Mostly that comes from the Queen of Cups being identified with more of a Cancerian energy, the King of Cups more of a Scorpio energy because queens are, are, are um, cardinals, cardinal signs, kings are, mutable, or are, excuse me, are fixed signs. And when it comes to Cancer specifically, you know, they can be very expressive and all that, but then they can also go into their shell sometimes, um, you know, and they tend to keep, unless they feel really comfortable with you, they tend to keep their their, their their emotions to themselves for the most part. Doesn't mean they don't feel a lot, don't get me wrong. There are all kinds of feelings going on down there, but she's not necessarily going to just give them up all that easily. Again, unless she's comfortable with you, unless she's... She knows you, but the Queen of Cups is also a very, very intuitive, psychically attuned person, okay? Other than the High Priestess, who is in a major arcana, the Queen of Cups is the most psychic individual of all, right? So what this is coming to, what this is saying to me here is for some, I'm, I'm getting an energy of concealment. Being very done in a situation a situation that probably was really agonizing. It, it involved a lot of um, awful thoughts, um, you know, doom and gloom, death and destruction, you know, that kind of thing. We are in the, we're, are, we are moving towards the end of Scorpio season, so there could be a lot of things that, um, you know, have come to an end that were really tough to get through. The Queen of Cups is giving me an energy of, concealment. I'm also hearing reconciliation again. I feel like you're moving, whoever this is resonating for, you or they are moving in a direction um, that is far away from the from whatever is completed here with the Ten of Swords, taking their power back, taking control of their lives with the Emperor and moving in a new direction. We do have two more cards here. Wow, the Four of Wands again. The Four of Wands and the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is reversed. So this is definitely an energy of someone is no longer fighting for something. Okay. And it was a rough and tumble battle. It was something that they may have been very passionate about in the past, but now they're giving up the fight. Mainly because you're starting to see, whoever this is, you're starting to see that this is a fruitless battle. This is a fruitless endeavor. You were just fighting and fighting, getting battered and bruised more and more without any real sort of resolution coming into play. But this has come about, you have realized this because of the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands in this reading is all about... Self-union, your own foundation, okay? And with the Queen of Cups here, this is a very deep understanding. It's compassion, yes. It's definitely compassionate understanding for the situation and the people involved. But this is also an energy of with the Queen of Cups saying, okay, concealment, saying, look, I just can't, I, I can't put myself through this anymore. I got to do better for myself. So I'm going to because I love myself and I want to be able to be there for those that I love too, so I have to just let this go and move on. Move on to something new. For some of you, this could be a relationship that you have a solid foundation. <sighs> I'm just getting with the nine of wands in reverse. It's just, it's an energy of not persevering any longer. It's almost as if the fire has gone out. 
but with the four of wands, I'm getting, um, I'm getting more of a personal foundation here. We could also be talking about a family situation in which someone might be wanting to move out. Um, someone might be wanting to move on. But the Queen of Cups is saying that whoever is moving forward, whoever is who is whoever is no longer persevering with this any longer, is very much in the energy of self love and compassion and understanding and wanting to move forward with their with, wanting to move forward with their life in order to really be able to find this Four of Wands in an external way because I really feel like this person already has it internally. And so now they're seeking, they're going out there and they're freeing their, themselves up in order to have this true union with someone externally because they're coming into that union internally, okay? All right. And with the emperor here, this is action oriented. This is someone that's taking their power back. Someone that is using the fertile energies of the Empress of, of Venus here in order to go after what it is they want or achieve what it is they want. So finally, we have the Magician and the Six of Swords in reverse. The Six of Swords in reverse. The magician is upright. These are the kind of somewhat hidden aspects to the situation. Someone wants to move on. Someone definitely wants to move on, but they're in the process of manifesting this exit, this way out, this movement forward. So let's get some clarification here, please, Spirit. Please clarify the magician and the Six of Swords in reverse. We've got the Five of Wands, okay. Oh, we've got the Six of Wands. <laughs> Underneath the deck is the Queen of Swords again. All right. Discernment. Now, uh, we've got the Five of Wands. We've got the Star, Wish Fulfillment, and we've got the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands did come out somewhat sideways, but it's a victory nonetheless. Okay. All right. So with the Queen of Swords being underneath the deck, there is definitely an energy of someone is not trying to move too quickly. They're not trying to move too hastily. There's extreme discernment going on. There is a lot of conflict here. It's chaotic. Mainly because there's a lot of change that's happening. There, is, there are wishes being had here. There is healing that is happening. And that healing is what's really kind of keeping someone from really moving forward to the next chapter. But that's okay because this, he, this, this healing that's happening with the star, with the star, is in service of ultimately moving forward with the Six of Swords and having some sort of victory with the Six of Wands, all right? But there is a lot of chaos right now. There's a lot of chaotic energy. And a lot of that has to do with, you know, the manifestations that are coming through that are, are that are in the works. It has to do with, um, you know, Mercury being in retrograde. Um, there's, the, and that healing is what's going through, what's coming through with the star here. You know, there's some final purges of some things from, you know, the past 2018, maybe even beyond. Um, even it like it's just a situation that I feel like that's really come to a head this year um, Even if it started last year years ago, you know, it was a situation that really Came to its final throws came to its final chapters this year And so now you're in the process or whoever is in the process of really manifesting something new doing some final healing some final purging dealing with the last bits of chaos of confusion of um Energies that are conflicting, energies of external influences, you know, people that are outside of you that don't necessarily know the situation, or the people outside of you that are putting their own inputs uh, in their own two cents in when it, you know, they really don't really understand the situation situation fully. I, I say this all the time. It's not like they are necessarily bad people. It's just that they they just they're not. They're not in the situation the way you are, so they really can't advise you the best way, right? 
but you are actively taking it. There is, there is a flow. Okay. This, this could resonate. All of this could resonate with you, or you could resonate with pieces of this, but there is definitely a flow of someone taking their power back and manifesting something new, actively, consciously moving forward with the six of swords. This is not just an energy of, okay, well now the energies are flowing and there's movement happening. No, you are consciously making this happen between the queen of swords energy, the emperor energy that came out underneath the deck Ooh, sorry guys, underneath the deck for the middle row here. And now the magician energy, okay, that's here in the bottom row, there is a lot of conscious effort to make some sort of movement. Now, we are still in the process of allowing the universe to drive for us, but that doesn't mean we don't actively have a part in this, okay? You can do the work to cut out the burdens, solidify your own foundation so that you can continue to move forward in whichever direction the universe takes you in, all right? Okay, all in all, this is a pretty, pretty beautiful reading. Okay. Great. So, now let's get into the oracle section here. We're going to keep it cute with the animal, the animal spirit, guys. I do like how that's flow, that's resonating right now. So we'll do that. And then I think I want to get some unicorn oracle, too, just to close out the reading for today. All right, guys. Let's see what we've got here. Best messages, please, spirit and animal spirits, for today, Monday, November 19th. Thank you so much. So much there we go. Ooh, all right. We've got three. <laughs> Underneath the deck is Swan. This could be considered a twin flame card. Um, but again, you know, the twin flame situation is not necessarily what everybody thinks. It's really about the inner, you know, inner recognition, uh, inner reconciliation, becoming whole within. I definitely see this as, I'm seeing this as a two of cups energy. Two of cups for me has very much been about the union between masculine and feminine within. Yes, we've got zebra, we've got tarantula, and we've got gazelle. All of these are fire energies, okay? And there's a lot of fire on the board right now. Four of Wands is here twice. We have the Five of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Two of Wands. Lots of fire energy. Lots of swords energy, too. Queen of Swords twice, Ten of Swords, Six of Swords, Four of Swords, Five of Swords... <laughs> What was this one? Oh, the Four of Wands, yeah. Oh, the Knight of Wands, too. Lots of fire and lots of air. So we're going through a lot of changes mentally. Um, but these are changes that are in service of our fire, our passions, our desires, spirit. All right, we're going to start with Tarantula. At a crossroad, claiming life's purpose. The Tarantula represents a moment when a great decision must be made. It involves prioritizing your life's deeper purpose or dharma. A habit or routine from the past is sidetracking you from your dream, yet a voice inside keeps begging you to focus your attention. In order to find true happiness, you must choose dharma. Until you do, satisfaction will be fleeting. The tarantula hovers, patient and calm, like an old friend that knows your inner soul. It already knows you'll choose wisely. When in balance, tarantula follows its intuition. When out of balance, tarantula hesitates and over-intellectualizes. To bring into balance, one must do some daily journaling. Sounds about right. Next, we have gazelle. Heightened awareness and, ab and ability. Vulnerable. The gazelle represents supreme grace. When, with every move, this awe-inspiring beauty emits sophistication and elegance. Gazelle personalities are often hyper-aware of their surroundings, bordering on hyper-vigilant, and this can inhibit them from enjoying the beauty they've spent so much effort cultivating. 
No more worrying about all those predators out there in the world. When this card appears, it's time to get back to the present moment. Sit down, find your breath, and acknowledge the bounty that surrounds you. Let it nourish your gentle spirit. When in balance, Gazelle is graceful, perceptive, and artistic. When out of balance, Gazelle experiences food allergies, insomnia, and a racing mind. To bring into balance, one must do some yin yoga, uh, enjoy a cozy home, or some good food. I mean, we have that energies this week, those energies this week, you know, for many of us in the United States that celebrate Thanksgiving. There you go. Boop. Okay. And finally, we have Zebra. Zebra, eccentric, creative, a visionary. Zebras are the most precious of gems. They are young, at heart, well-cultured, and have an undying curiosity about life. Being in the company of a zebra personality not only is a delight, but also opens our minds. Be prepared. Their potent magic is contagious, and you may soon find yourself in a faraway land, expanding your world view while having a blast. Zebras also like to contribute to the global health through environmental or volunteer work. This card may be a hint to pack your bags. I told you, some of guys, some of you are looking to move, looking to travel, but this doesn't. This just doesn't have to be physically, okay? This can just be mentally, emotionally, spiritually, energetically, okay? Movement to a new place, a new energetic space, a new mental space, a new physical space also, yes. When in balance, Zebra is worldly, enthusiastic, and fashion forward. When out of balance, Zebra is jaded, pouty and vain to bring into balance ooh sorry to bring into balance one must go on an, an epic adventure or experience some art take in some art of some, of some sort so i'm getting the message here the message here from the animal spirits is very much similar to what we were talking about it's right it's, it's um echoing what we were talking about here there, there is a it's especially with tarantula being in the center there is a choice that needs to be made here this choice is in service of you in service of what you truly desire take full advantage of these retrograde energies of this full moon um please if you haven't already check out betsy's um, uh, um, energy update for the weekend, the past weekend, the 16th to the 18th. She is Fearless Intuition. If you don't know her, she's one of my very, very dear friends. Board, like We're damn near besties. <laughs> I love that woman. Um, but she has some really great information on, you know, the, the, Mercury going Mercury going retrograde. Um, I did do a reading for the full moon in Gemini yesterday. That was posted yesterday. Please check that out. There is, a, I mean, a lot of this that's coming out right now is all resonating with those two situations. So you have a chance to do some real movement. I mean, gazelles are graceful, and yes, you know, it's a time to be grateful for what you have, to appreciate what, you know, the beauty around you, to appreciate yourself and your own talent. But this is also a moving, a movement energy, as well as zebra, okay? Zebra is the visionary. So gazelle is the grace and the gratitude. Zebra is the visionary for what's to come or what to manifest. Tarantula is the choice. I'm definitely seeing tarantula being that two of wands in some sort of uh, physical corporeal form. Okay, so let's close the reading with some oracle guidance from the unicorns. All right, guys. All right, unicorns and spirit, best messages, please, to close out this reading. Thank you so much, spirit. Messages for Monday, November 19th. Thank you so much, spirit. Thank you so much, unicorns. There's one. Best messages. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. All right, so here's the deal. The This right here, 
Courage is speaking to this Five of Wands energy you have here in your manifestation sector that's clarifying the Magician and the Six of Swords in reverse. Some of you really are having trouble moving forward. Either you are either you're just not quite ready to move forward yet with the Six of Swords in reverse, or you're be you feel like you're being blocked. You feel like you're being held back. All right, you are needing to have the courage to just move on. Because if a situation is not serving you any longer, you got to just go. Because it's only going to make your life worse. <laughs> and I don't mean to be all doomsday-ish, but that's exactly what it is. It's only going to make you more miserable. It's only going to make the people around you more miserable, uh, more miserable, more miserable than they already are. You know, you really can't be there for them in the way that you would like to if you are miserable yourself, okay? You have balance here. Take time to relax. Indulge a little more or a little less. Set boundaries with your work. Again, more messages about boundaries, okay? You have gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. I'm also getting an energy of patience here for many of you, yeah? Finally, yes, we have miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. All right? So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. I look forward to be to potentially seeing you guys tonight for happy hour. Again, I am going to keep you posted on... Um, whether or not that I'll actually be able to make it to that. I have every intention of doing so. I do have a little bit of a jam-packed schedule today, but I'm going to try my hardest because I would really love to spend some time with you guys. Yeah? Okay. Well, enjoy your day. Much love to you all. And I look forward to connecting with you again, at least for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Happy Monday. Bye.